This is chapter 18 of Legend. June. Day must have thought I'd fallen asleep, but I see him get up and leave in the middle of the night, so I follow him. He breaks into a quarantine zone, enters a house marked with a three-lined X, and reappears several minutes later. It's all I need to know. I climb to the roof of a nearby building. Once there, I crouch in the shadows of a chimney and turn my mic on. I'm so angry with myself that I can't stop my voice from shaking. I'd let myself get carried away with the last person I ever wanted to like. That I ever wanted to ache for. Maybe Day didn't kill Midas, I tell myself. Maybe it was someone else. God, am I making excuses to protect this boy now? I've acted like an idiot in front of Midas' murder. Have the streets of Lake turned me into some simple-minded girl? Have I just shamed the memory of my brother? Thomas, I whisper. I found him. A full minute of static passes before I hear Thomas answer me. When he does, he sounds oddly detached. Can you repeat that, Miss Iparis? My temper rises. I said I found him. Day. He just visited a house in one of Lake's quarantine zones. A house with a three-lined X on its door. Corner, corner of Figora and Wat Watson. Are you sure? Thomas sounds more alert now. You're absolutely sure. I take the pendant out of my pocket. Yes, no doubt about it. Some commotion on the other side. His voice grows excited. Corner of Figora and Watson? That's the special plague case we're meant to investigate tomorrow morning. You're sure it's day? He asks again. Yes. Medic trucks will be at the house tomorrow. We're to take the inhabitants to the central hospital. Then send for extra troops. I want backup when day shows up to protect his family. I remember the way that day had crawled under the floorboards. He'll have no time to get them out, so he'll probably hide them somewhere in the house. We should take them to Balta Hall's hospital wing. No one's to be hurt. I want them there for questioning. Thomas seems taken aback by my tone. You'll have your troops, he manages to say, and I hope to hell you're right. The feel of Day's lips, our heated kiss, and his hand running across my skin. It should all mean nothing to me now. Worse than nothing. I am right. I return to the alley before Day can find me missing.